welcome back. Our topic today is converting between radians and degrees. Now, before we jump right in, we probably need to talk about what a radian is. So we want you to carefully copy this definition down in your notebook. So feel free to pause it and uh, take your time here. A radian is the measure of an angle theta that when drawn as a central angle has an arc length equal to the length of its radius. And do the same thing. Go ahead and sketch this picture in here. Okay. Our arc length is the length of this arc here. And label it arc length. You know by now what a radius is. And let's get our central angle theta in there. Okay, so what this is saying is, and you, you've heard the word radian, we've talked about radian mode, degree mode. A radian happens when the radius is equal to the arc length. Okay, so if this radii equals this arc length, we have one radian. Now, you've heard of pi before back from middle school, and most people know pi is 3.14. Well, that's just a rounded answer. Pi is an irrational number that goes on forever. If you hit pi in your calculator, it'll spew out a whole bunch of decimals after the 3.14. And our goal today is to actually teach you where pi came from and to show you that pi is a radian. So if here's what's going to happen. If I were to take a string and kind of measure the length of this radius, okay, so I'm going to call that r. And then I take that string and I kind of wrap it around like a half a circle or a semicircle. So I'm going to say that length is also r. So because the radius equals the arc length, we have one radian. Okay. And again, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to start at this point. I'm going to take it, measure out, and go ahead and draw something similar in your notebook. Here's another r. So again, the radius is the same as this arc. So now you could say I have two radians. And I'll go ahead and put a third one in. So starting here to here. There's another length of r. So that's a total of three radians. And you'll notice I have a little left over. And it happens to be 0.14. So that is 3.14 radians, which is also known as pi. Okay, and that's a huge deal. 3.14 is equivalent to pi, which of course is equivalent to, if you ask yourself how many degrees is that, that's half a circle, so 180 degrees. Okay, these are all equivalent to each other. So the main idea that we want you to get here is that when we say pi, that is the same thing as 180 degrees. Okay, and that's our big deal here. Pi is equivalent to 180 degrees. Pi is in radians, and 180 is clearly in degrees. Okay, so again, we've, you've just been fortunate to call this 3.14, but this is actually what it is. If the radius measured here, here, and here, you can fit three of them, and then 0.14. Now, that will work for any size circle. It's pretty neat. No matter how big your circle is, Okay, let's say it had a radius of 10. You would be able to fit one radian, one length of 10, another length of 10, another length of 10, and then 0.14 would be left over for a total of 3.14 or pi. And again, that will work on any size circle. It's pretty neat. So now that we know what a radian is, our goal is to be able to convert from a degree to a radian, okay? Um, and again, I just want to stress that pi is equivalent to 180. And think about this. If I said 2 pi, well, basically, I multiplied this side by 2, and I'll just multiply this side by 2. So 2 pi is equal to 360 degrees. Okay, so if I were to draw out my circle, I could say from here to here is pi, and then back around makes a total of 2 pi. And obviously I could keep going 3 pi, 4 pi, etc. And you'll see a lot more of that later on. Alright, so now that we know what degrees and radians are, our goal is just to be able to convert from a degree to a radian and a radian to a degree. So label this converting degrees to radians. 
Oops. And here's our rule. So to change from degrees to radians, we are simply going to multiply by pi over 180. Okay? And it's a very simple rule. Multiply by pi over 180. So let's try a few. Convert to radians. So number one, they gave us 50 degrees. Well, the rule is just take that answer, or question, I'm sorry, and multiply by pi over 180. Okay, now, we're going to encourage you to try to do some of it in your head, and if you need to grab your calculator, that's okay too. But like I said, try to do it in your head. All I'm going to say is, okay, I could really make this a fraction. So I really have on top 50 pi over 180. All right, and we just want to make sure we simplify, and I think the easiest thing to do is say, okay, I have a zero on top, a zero on the bottom. I can kill those zeros and say I really have 5 pi over 18. And that's it. Now, typically, the question will tell you to leave it in terms of pi, so you don't actually want to get a decimal answer. If you were going to use your calculator to cheat whatsoever, the only thing you would be typing in is 50 divided by 180, and then hitting math frac to get your 5 over 18, and then leave the pi there. But unless it you know, specifically asks for a decimal, we want this answer as a fraction. So let's try a few more. Take 120 degrees and convert it to radians. So again, all I'm putting next to it is times pi over 180. I can put that over 1. When you multiply fractions, just go straight across the top, straight across the bottom. So that's 120 pi over 180. Okay, again, if you're grabbing your calculator, you're typing in the 120 over 180 and hitting math frac and leaving the pi. But now again, we're going to encourage you to do it without. So I'm going to kill the zeros, so those are gone. And I basically have 12 over 18. They're both divisible by 6. So 6 goes into 12 twice and into 18 three times. So I would say this answer is 2 pi over 3. And that's it. Now, in case you ever forget what to multiply by, let me just give you this little hint. What you want goes on top. All right, so let's make a little note there. What you want goes on top. So if you want radians, then you want to see the pi on top. If you want degrees, you want to see the degree on top. Um, so 135 degrees, convert to radians, so multiply by your pi over 180, because we want radians, so the pi goes on top. Put that over 1. On top, I've got 135 pi over 180. Um, now, if you can't divide these two in your head as quickly, you know, like I said, grab the calculator and, and type it in there. Um, I think 45 goes into both of those, so I can say that's 3 fourths pi. And again, that pi is technically on top. Um, so last one here, pause it, try it on your own, see if we get the same thing. Don't let the negative scare you at all. Just go with your idea of multiplying by pi over 180. So pause it, try it on your own. So again, straight across the top, I get negative 30 pi. Across the bottom, I get 180. Uh, I can kill those zeros, and the 3 and 18, 3 goes into 3 once, and into 18 six times. So I would say this is negative pi over 6 radians. All right, let's go the opposite way now, converting radians to degrees. So the rule to change from radians to degrees, it just kind of flip-flops. Instead of multiplying by pi over 180, you are now multiplying by 180 over pi. And like I said, it, it's easy to get the two rules confused, but just say to yourself, what you want goes on top. Do you want a degree or do you want a radian? So if it says co to convert to degrees, I want degrees, so I know the 180 goes on top over pi. What you want goes on top. And again, just multiply across the top. 180 pi over 3 pi. And then simplify. And a pi on top, pi on the bottom cancel. And 3 goes into 3 once and into 180 60 times. So I would say this is 60 degrees. Okay, so again, just what you want goes on top. Do you want a degree or do you want a radian? Uh, number 2, we're converting to degrees. So I want degrees on top, 180 over pi. Okay, again, just multiply across the top and across the bottom. So 5 pi on the bottom, negative uh, 360 pi on top. Um, I see pi's on the top and bottom. Those can cancel. 5 goes into 5 once 
and into 360 72 times. So I would say that's negative 72 degrees. And remember, the negative is nothing fancy. It's just telling you you're going to swing co or clockwise 72 degrees. All right. Now, number three, they love just saying four radians. Okay. And it's very simple again. Just say to yourself, I want to convert four radians to degrees. So I want degrees. That means put the 180 on top over pi. Okay. Whatever you want goes on top. So again, I'm going to make this a fraction, multiply across the top and across the bottom. And 4 times 180 gets me 720 over pi. Now you'll notice there's nothing to reduce. The pi's can't cancel. There's not even a pi on top. So my answer is just 720 over pi. And that's okay. Pi's don't have to cancel. The whole key is, is what you want goes on top. All right, I saved two for you. Um, try these last two problems, four and five, and then get back to me and double check. So pause it, try it on your own. All right, so again, I was given radians. I want degrees, so the degree goes on top, 180 over pi. Multiply across, I'll put it as a fraction if that helps. Multiply across the top, five times, negative five times 180 is negative 900, all over pi. And that's it, nothing reduces, nothing cancels, and I'm done. Lastly, number five. I want degrees, so the 180 goes on top over pi. Cross the top, I got 1260 pi over 4 pi, and now I can reduce. I have a pi on the top and bottom, and 1260 divided by 4, uh, I'm going to cheat, I think that gets me 315 degrees. Oops, I should say that's degrees as well. All right, well, there you have it, converting from degrees to radians. Um, just remember, the whole trick is to saying, what do you want? And that's the one that goes on top. Have a great night, and we'll see you tomorrow.